Hey guys, Aaron and Dusty here. Welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. And we're back again today with our second video for tips on how to combat acne and have healthy, glowing skin. So today we're specifically going to be addressing the top seven whole plant foods to incorporate to avoid acne and aging yep. and get better, healthier, glowing skin. So right. we're going to share with you seven foods to avoid as well as seven foods that you can incorporate in instead. You guys know the drill. If you like this video, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, subscribe to our channel. Click that bell to stay notified and share this video with your friends and family. Yes, leave us some love in the comments below. Let us know what you thought. And as always, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik, at DB Stanzik, yep. as well as all across our other social media accounts. So before we take a deep dive into the top seven foods that you should incorporate for better skin, <laughs> we're real quick gonna rattle off the top seven that maybe you're consuming that could be hindering your healthy skin <laughs> because they're all highly inflammatory foods. Right, so number one is refined sugars. Anything from candy bars, soda pop, to even white bread can be wreaking havoc on your gut and your skin. <laughs> Tear. <laughs> <laughs> so number two, and this does not hold true for everyone, but grains can be a source for some people, especially if you have a gut issue such as celiacs or if you're highly gluten sensitive. So right. sometimes watching those grains can be helpful. Yep. So the third food to avoid is dairy. When people come to us and ask about a vegan diet, the number one thing we say to avoid is dairy. It's so inflammatory, full of antidepressants, antibiotics, just terrible things for you. Not to mention hormones. And hormones, just please avoid dairy. Number four food to avoid, this one is kind of a given, it's a little unfortunate for some of us, fried foods. <laughs> I know they're tasty, french fries, yes they are vegan, but they are just not good for our skin. Okay, our number five food to avoid <laughs> is anything that is packaged or processed. You've probably heard Aaron and I say before, if you can't read it, don't <laughs> eat it. And these highly packed, processed and packaged foods are chock full of chemicals and ingredients that you can't read. So we say avoid them. Shop the produce section instead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Number six is technically not a food. It's not something our bodies require by any means, but it's alcohol. Yep. So, Enjoying a glass of wine from time to time is one thing, but imbibing in several beers in one sitting is a very different thing that can cause all kinds of puffiness, bags, and premature aging. So if you can eliminate it or reduce it, that's great. Stay away from the booze, especially while you're pregnant. <laughs> yes. So number seven, this one is highly individualized. Avoid anything that you might obviously be sensitive to. So like Aaron mentioned earlier, avoiding gluten if you have celiac disease or avoiding nuts if you're allergic. <laughs> yes, so there are a lot of coaching clients that come to us and say, I love X, Y, and Z, but <laughs> I'm intolerant or my gut can't handle them, but I love them so much. But right. we just say there are plenty of foods for you to love on. So just cut <laughs> out and eliminate any that are causing you trouble. <laughs> yes. So now the top seven foods, four that are going to promote your skin and your health overall. Let's get into them. Yes, because the number one thing we say is it can be really tricky if you just try to eliminate everything and you feel like you're left with nothing. So right. try to crowd out the bad with more of the good. So we're yep. gonna give you those goods. <laughs> so number one is a three-in-one special. <laughs> so antioxidants are incredibly amazing for your skin to help combat aging, acne, fine lines, wrinkles, puffiness, you name it. Yep. And this three-part series consists of vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. So where do we get vitamin A? Well, vitamin A is converted from beta carotene in the body, and these are found in basically orange foods, like yes. sweet potatoes and carrots. Those would definitely be my top picks. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> we eat these almost every night we without do. fail. We do. And they are incredible for your skin. Vitamin A is very important in cell production and just growing healthy new skin cells. 
And if you ever look on the back of one of your skincare products, it's yep. probably going to say retinol on it somewhere. Retinol is another name for vitamin A. Right. Our second whole food source for better skin to combat acne and aging and help you get that glow <laughs> is another antioxidant. This one is vitamin C. Yeah. So you might see this on food and or skincare labels also called ascorbic acid. Yep. So this one is fantastic for wound healing and collagen production, which just helps to keep everything tight and connected. Right, we all want more collagen, especially as we age. Our mothers are always asking us, what do I, how do I get more collagen? Do I need <laughs> fillers? Do I need all this stuff? No, you need vitamin C. So we're growing up believing that oranges are the highest food source of vitamin C, and they are. Any citrus fruit is good, but I like to go for kiwis. Kiwis have a ton of vitamin C, yes. and so does broccoli, interesting enough. <laughs> yes, you've also got tomatoes, you've got melons of all sorts, yep. strawberries, you name it. Vitamin C is abundant in all of these colorful fruits and veggies. Yep, go out and get your vitamin C. So number three is another antioxidant, and it's vitamin E. You see it on labels as tocopherol. So it's good for the immune system, blood vessels, and scarring. I even put vitamin E on my cutting boards, which is weird, but it <laughs> literally like fills in the gaps of the wood and it does the same thing for your skin. So some great sources of vitamin E would be almonds, soybeans, dark leafy greens, and there are a variety of other nuts and seeds that contain vitamin E as well. Of these three antioxidant superfood sources, these three vitamins, vitamin A, C, and E. Yep. Vitamin A is fat soluble, vitamin C is water soluble, and vitamin E is fat soluble. So interesting, let's take note, the vitamin C being water soluble are in these high water content foods. The vitamin A and vitamin E being fat soluble are found in things like nuts and seeds, which are fat soluble. I think that's nature's little gift, prepackaging them and giving you everything you need. <laughs> I would call that nature. Nature, isn't it neat? <laughs> Number four are gonna be our alkaline foods. Interestingly enough, these are all green foods. So our leafy greens, our cucumbers, our green veggies, get those things in. They're going to lower the pH in our bodies and help balance and neutralize that for optimal nutrition, health, and skin. Yes, so dark leafy greens, all of these alkalizing foods that Dusty just mentioned are going to help reduce inflammation yep. and they're also going to detoxify the liver. So Absolutely. they're going to cleanse you from the inside out, which we all know is a perfect recipe for glowing skin. Right. <laughs> so we like obviously eating big salads every day, green smoothies we have every day, but every once in a while, once or twice a week, we'll make a straight green juice. This is like an alkaline cocktail that's gonna really drastically reduce your inflammation and lower that pH and just make your body buzz. Yes, so get in those dark leafy greens every meal of the day if possible. Yep. <laughs> Number five is going to be our foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Yes. So omega-3s are what we would consider good fats. <laughs> so flax and chia are our two favorite sources. We put them into all kinds of smoothies, oatmeals, top them on top of salads, right. you name it, we love them. There's also hemp seeds and walnuts. Oh, walnuts yes. are the most fantastic nut source for your omega-3 fatty acids. And they taste good. So we soak and dehydrate our walnuts, put them in the fridge, I eat those babies by the handful. I also have recently started taking an omega-3 supplement for my EPA and DHA. You know, a lot of guys say that you don't need them and if you're healthy and you're getting these nuts and seeds that you're probably okay, but I find that I like to supplement just to cover my bases. I really feel like I can feel a difference. So get those omega-3s in however you can. Right, omega-3 fatty acids are going to be fantastic for reducing inflammation, yep. again, if you're yep. seeing a trend here. <laughs> and they're really gonna be awesome for keeping your skin supple, soft, plump, luscious, <laughs> juicy, whatever adjective you can think of that is the opposite of dry and cracked. <laughs> yes, get those omega-3s in for that healthy, glowing skin. Number six are probiotics. And what are these probiotic foods that we hear so much about? These are gonna be good for gut flora, oxidative stress, inflammation. I mean, if it has to do with the gut or digestion, probiotics are not just necessary, they're so beneficial. Yes, so these foods are going to facilitate healing and glowing skin, again, from the inside out. Right. So when you have a healthy gut, it radiates in your skin. Yep. So these foods are going to include kimchi, 
tempeh, sauerkraut, all of these fermented foods are full of probiotic, healthy, good bacteria. Right. But another source is if you're just eating healthy whole foods in general, these yep. contain prebiotics, which are the things that the probiotics in our gut feed on. So right. if you're eating prebiotics, you're going to increase the probiotic bacteria in your gut. So these probiotics are going to be exceedingly important, especially if you've ever been or recently been on a round of antibiotics, which we all know are wreaking havoc on our guts. Yes, they sometimes are necessary, but if, if they can be avoided, we want to at all costs because these antibiotics are cleaning out not just the bad, but all of the good bacteria. So if you've recently been on an antibiotic or if you've ever been on one, you're going to want to push the probiotics to get that gut flora back to a good, healthy place. <laughs> so our seventh and final whole food source to combat acne and aging for that glowing skin is zinc. Yes. So we talked about a handful of vitamins, A, C, and E. Yep. Now zinc is a mineral. So this mineral is fantastic for just healthy skin cell development. Yep. It also helps to regulate your metabolism as well as your hormones. And we all know that if your hormones are out of whack, your skin is going to be whack. Right. <laughs> Which is why, unfortunately, teenagers and people going through puberty often have the most acne because, again, it has so much to do with hormones. So get your zinc in in the form of lentils, nuts, and seeds. And again, like Aaron said, this is gonna help your skin so much and help <laughs> regulate those hormones and keep your skin glowing. <laughs> and one other food that's high in zinc is quinoa. Oh, and right. that is the one exception to our rule. If you can't read it, don't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> quinoa is the exception. <laughs> right. So that was a lot of information to take in between the top seven foods to avoid and the top seven foods to incorporate. <laughs> so if you're like, just give it to me short and sweet and simple, one food from each category that yep. I need to eat, for better skin and less acne, less fine lines, less wrinkles. So for vitamin A, our top pick is sweet potatoes. Yes, number two, vitamin C. We're gonna give you a veggie and a fruit. So we're gonna say broccoli and strawberries. So number three, vitamin E, almonds. Number four, for those alkaline foods, we're gonna say very simply, kale and spinach. <laughs> number five, omega-3 fatty acids, we've got chia seeds. <laughs> Number six, those healthy probiotics, we're gonna go with cabbage. And number seven, zinc, our final food is lentils. Yes, eat them up. Lentils are amazing. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> makes me want some right now. I think our next video needs to be a meal, a single bowl incorporating all of these foods. What yes, do you guys think? Absolutely. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. It might be a little crazy. It might turn out tasty. I don't know. <laughs> I think we can do just right. All right. Okay. <laughs> If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, follow us on social media, share this video with your friends and family, and come back to see us because we've got a part three video for healthy skin coming at you soon. Yes, I'm most excited for this one because we are gonna take you guys upstairs to our bathroom and show you what we use, everything from salves, to ointments, to spot treatments, to scrubs, yep. you name it. We're gonna give you a few DIY masks, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> In the meantime, you guys know the drill. Eat, move, and rest your, your best. best. Bye guys.